Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Dhabiya Palace the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Sheikh, on the occasion of his end of his tenure in the kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed Saudi Arabia's status for the Arab and Islamic nations for being the pillar that supports them in facing various challenges. He added that its stances and all circumstances will not be forgotten, wishing it further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness hailed the Saudi Arabia's vital role led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Crown Prince, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in raising the status of the Arab and Islamic nations. He stressed that the relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are a model of historic ties that were established by the ancestors, and these relations will continue to exist on a basis of brotherhood, interdependence, cooperation that strengthen and develop them in all fields. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of the ambassador in supporting and developing brotherly relations between the two countries in translation of the directives of the custodian of the two holy mosques to increase bilateral cooperation. He wished the Saudi ambassador success in his future endeavors. His Royal Highness noted the development Saudi Arabia witnesses in all fields under the leadership of the Saudi King and the Crown Prince. The Saudi ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to all that increases bilateral cooperation. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Housing, Basim al Hamar, headed Bahrain's delegation to the high level political forum held in the United Nations headquarters in New York, which witnessed the attendance of the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. The Minister of Housing affirmed the importance of holding similar forums for the opportunity they provide to review state members' reports on the measures they have taken and their efforts to implement the goals of Sustainable Development 2030. He asserted Bahrain's keenness on implementing the goals through connecting them to the government plan. The minister added that Bahrain has given considerable attention to implementing the goals of sustainable development, which are considered the pillars of development in most countries. He stressed that the results Bahrain achieved to implement the developmental goals has been well received by UN officials and member states. A partial lunar eclipse was seen over Bahrain's sky last night, which started from 11 p.m. and continued until the early hours of today. Stargazers in Bahrain were able to catch a glimpse, which was also visible in most Arab countries as well as many parts of the world, including India, Asia, Europe, Africa, Australia, and South America. This celestial event coincided with the fully fledged moon of Dhul Qa'da, 1440 Hijri year. Such natural phenomenon occurs as the Earth obstructs the sun sunlight of the moon's surface when the sun, Earth, and moon become aligned. Today I brought three telescopes, two Newtonian and one Ritchie Critian. The Ritchie Critian is for to, to, uh, to photograph the moon while uh, it's eclipsing. So we have an exposure of uh, uh, three hours. Then we combine them to get a 15-second 15, uh, 15 clip. The two other Newtonian is for the public to see and view the eclipse during the event. Now here in, in, uh, in Bahrain Islamic Society, we are organizing uh, a gathering for every important astronomical event. Now tonight we have lunar eclipse. Uh, this lunar eclipse is... Uh, a very interesting celestial phenomena that happens very frequently and uh, we have here a lot of people from the society we have almost uh, six or seven telescopes of all sizes to observe this event now the the, the lunar eclipse will start it's already started at 11 o'clock and this will continue until two o'clock in the morning so during this period We'll be observing all the phases of, 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 of this eclipse. And as you can see, we have people of all ages coming here to participate in this event. The National Bureau for Revenue held a workshop for individuals from the construction, real estate, industrial and manufacturing sectors 
in order to brief them on the VAT and VAT-related policies. The workshop presented the mechanisms through which the VAT is implemented and other technical VAT-related matters. The workshop represents a part of the National Bureau for Revenue's efforts to offer the highest degree of transparency as it implements the VAT in order to raise awareness of its mode of operation.